Prime Minister Narendra Modi, along with his Singapore counterpart, Lawrence Wong, visited AEM Holdings. India and Singapore announced the signing of a key bilateral pact to partner and cooperate in the field of semiconductors, as the two countries elevated their ties to a comprehensive strategic partnership. The tech partnership comes as advanced manufacturing with the focus on semiconductors. The union budget proposed to allocate 1,500 crore rupees for electronic chip plants in the country and 900 crore rupees for the modernization of the semiconductor lab in Mohali, a 52% increase from the previous allocation. But why is India making a push for semiconductors? Semiconductor fabs today are not just about assembling circuits. They demand an exceptionally reliable supply of water, electricity and protection from environmental elements. Countries recognize the strategic importance of controlling segments of the semiconductor value chain, especially as the complexity and expense of operating fabs reach unprecedented levels. Last year, China surpassed Taiwan in global fab sales, according to the Semiconductor Industry Association. And India is not the only country concerned about this shift. The US enacted CHIPS Act last August, channeling over $280 billion in subsidies and investments to boost domestic semiconductor production. This move coupled with restrictions and sanctions targeting the Chinese semiconductor industry underscores the global race to secure semiconductor supply chains and reduce reliance on China. The government's Invest India agency estimates that electronics manufacturing as a whole will be worth around $300 billion by financial year 2025-26. But can India pull it off? The challenges are substantial. First up, basic infrastructure. Apart from government spending on the semiconductor lab in Mohali, Adani Group, in collaboration with Tower Semiconductor, is planning to invest $10 billion to set up a unit in Maharashtra. Big names like Tata and Micron are also stepping in, but there are challenges at the basic level as we seem to be lacking in fabrication. Building a fab requires a robust supply of water, power and top-notch logistics. While states like Gujarat and Tamil Nadu are rolling out subsidies, infrastructure outside major hubs remain a concern. Secondly, semiconductor manufacturing is a costly endeavor. It demands billions in investment before the first chip is made. Though the government offers up to 50% capital support and additional incentives from states like Gujarat lend a helping hand, the initial cost and long timelines, like the Tata PSMC plant, which won't produce chips until 2026, are an issue. Supply chain issues add another layer of complexity. India's semiconductor ambitions depend on global supply chains for raw materials and equipments. However, India looks committed. Minister Ashwini Vaishnav asserted that India will rank among the top five semiconductor manufacturing countries within the next five years. The vision is ambitious, a complete chip ecosystem that includes research, design, manufacturing and fabrication. After all, though late, we are entering the game at a time when US is looking to reduce Chinese dependency when it comes to chips. This is where India can step in. The US leads in semiconductor design but lacks in manufacturing. No US company comes close to China or Taiwan's scale of manufacturing. According to a Deloitte study, by 2026, India's semiconductor market could skyrocket to $55 billion and the job market. Deloitte predicts that by 2030, this market could expand to $85 billion, creating 6 lakh jobs. With the India Semiconductor Mission offering financial incentives and the 2024 union budget boosting the funding, India's semiconductor ambitions are gaining momentum. The big question though, will India navigate these challenges and secure its place in the global semiconductor arena?